Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome. This is the Empire, along with community resources for community building. And today we have the lovely Shanika Small. She is the CEO of Shalena Essentials. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you. Thank you. And if you guys don't know, we just met. We are a part of a wonderful group called the Milestone Circles Program. Yes. Yes, yes. A nice way to meet like-minded people. Absolutely. So, Queen, tell us a little bit about yourself and your journey. Yes. Um. Again, thank you so much for having me. I'm Shanika. I am from Brooklyn, New York. I'm a registered nurse. I've been a registered nurse for 11 years, a psychiatric mental health registered nurse. So pretty exciting stuff. <laughs> Ooh, the stories you can tell. Oh, could I? Could I? <laughs> we'll be here all night. But um, a registered mental health nurse for 11 years. Um, I'm currently still nursing. However, the past two years, I've been working, doing a side, little side hustle with um, my company, Shalana Essentials. I got into doing that when I discovered the benefits of CBD, cannabidiol. So um, I know we've been hearing a lot about CBD. Um, what it actually is, it's a chemical compound of cannabis, hemp. It doesn't get you high, but it has a lot of medicinal benefits. And um, I researched it when I um, got a knee injury in the gym. You know, um, Denise, when I, I had to work out in months, and I went back to the gym that time and I was trying to get it in. I was trying to get all that. <laughs> I hadn't done for months. I was trying to pack it in one day and I overdid it and I injured my knee. I had a torn meniscus. So I was limping around for about a month and taking um, Tylenol, taking Advil, which was taking the pain off, but it really wasn't addressing my pain. And, um, so I've been hearing about CBD. I did some research and I got some oil and started taking the oil and was amazed at how it helped my pain. And I mean, I went from limping for months. Within two weeks, I had no more pain. So I kept doing my research and um, I started adding it to my, I started putting it everything. They said, they said you put it on everything. <laughs> I started putting that CBD oil on everything. I started putting it in my hair products, in my food, in my um, skincare. And that's how Shalana Essentials came about. So I use um, full spectrum CBD oil with plant-based um, products like shea butter, mango butter, coconut oil, all plant-based. And I combine them to make all natural wellness butters and um. I have a face cream. I have some um, face and body mist. I have a um, about eight products all together. Yeah, okay. I have eight in, in total. So that's how I came about starting this um, this company, Shalana Essentials. And it's right now it's still a side hustle. However, um, I'm I'm crossing my fingers for 2023 that I'm able to transition full time to doing this because. Um, as much as I love nursing, um, I love doing what I do with this company a lot more. <laughs> so I'm looking to transition. So, okay. Yeah. So you did answer one of my questions. What sparked you into mm -hmm. um, wanting to get into the CBD essentials? But um, how long from taking the Tylenol and the Advil and all those other things, did you see the benefits of uh, when you was taking the um, CBD oil? And then you, you was putting it onto all of your foods. So yeah, I started taking it. I, I got the I got the injury in July. I started taking it like August. And like I said, within I don't I would say within two weeks, I was not feeling any more pain. I wasn't even limping anymore. But it, it happened really quickly, really quickly. I I hadn't felt any more pain. And even though it was a serious injury, Denise, I can honestly say I have no residual effects. I have no residual pain in that knee. I walk normal. I'm able to exercise the right way now. And um, 
I have no residual pain <laughs> at so all. So you're still you know? on your exercise and being healthy journey. Yes, <laughs> I'm, I'm doing it better now. Like I'm, I'm not, I'm do, I'm more consistent now. I'm not, you know, not going for months and then trying to get catch up in a day anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely more consistent now. I'm getting, you know, as you get older, you start to you realize. And I, as a nurse, I see, you know, if you don't take care of yourself, what can happen? So. It's it's definitely more important to me. Okay, um, to be consistent with my health journey, definitely. You have an extensive history and knowledge and expertise in the nursing field. Mm -hmm. So the research and everything that you did. Um, <clears throat> how is getting into the cannabis business can be beneficial for Black people? Oh, this is a great question, Denise, and. <laughs> I am so happy to be here to talk about this because we need Black people. We were disproportionately affected by the war on drugs. We are disproportionately mm. arrested for weed, cannabis. We are dis disproportionately in jail still for a plant. So um, Black people, we need to get into this business and profit and get back what? was taken from us during the drug wars. And I am so passionate to, uh, about talking to Black people about getting into this business. It's a bill, it's, it's, it's projected to be a billion dollar business. Um, in 20, in the next five to 10 years, it's gonna explode because um, it's getting legalized and it's here to stay. And it's gonna make so much money. These corporations are lining up to get in and we need to get, we need to be a part of this. We need to educate ourselves on the benefits. And <clears throat> there's still a big stigma because um, a lot of people in my family, are, why you, you know, this is weed, this is not good. You know, you're a weed head. And there's that stigma. But if we do our research, and when I say research, I've done scientific research um, in every just about, I read about just about every, almost every medical journal and the, the, the evidence is out there that cannabis is medicine. This is, there are medicinal benefits to this plant. And, you know, while these corporations are lining up to get in, are lining up to line their pockets with this new market, we need to get in there. And because we have been disproportionately affected by arrests for weed. So, Yes, Black people, we need to really do this. Yes. I think that America has been so programmed that the medicine that they're taking is beneficial, that's going to make you healthier and live longer, mm -hmm. and that's not mm -hmm. the truth. Because if you think about it, for centuries, we grew up on herbs from the garden mm -hmm. and fresh yes. vegetables and all of these mm -hmm. things. And our grandparents and great-grandparents lived to be hundreds of years old. So mm -hmm. how can you sit there and say that it's a drug or that it's bad for you because, like you said, if you did your research, then you will understand that you can put it on your skin. You can put it in the foods. Yeah. Um, you can grind it. You know, there's so many different beneficial ways to use it if you don't want to, you know. There's even gummies out there. Um, <laughs> but I would want to be taking a whole bunch of... Um, you know, medicine every single day. Because if you think about it, in 12 months, how much is that pile of pills that you're taking versus the marijuana? Yes. So that's just my intake. Um, yes. Um, what do you wish everybody understood about CBD? What do I wish everyone understood? That um, it should be a part of everyone's wellness arsenal. And when I say wellness arsenal, you have your, um, you have your, your, like you said, your your herbs. You have your your, your energy drinks. You have your um, your cough medicine. You know, because there there is whatever you take to, to to help you stay healthy, to help build your immune system, like your vitamin C, your elderberry. CBD should be a part of your wellness arsenal. It should. It, it has so many benefits. Um, it's neuroprotective. That means it helps generate new brain cells. It helps. Um, it's We have receptors in our skin that respond directly to CBD, that it can regenerate skin, our skin cells. 
acne, it helps balance the, the, the oil in our skin to help with acne. It can help. I have psoriasis. It helps with my psoriasis. Um, it should just, there's so many benefits and I'm still learning about benefits <laughs> to CBD. Um, it should be a part of, of course, you take in medications, um, you speak with your doctor about it, but it should be, I, I, I can't wait till it's a part where it's a part of everyone's wellness regimen. And it, I, I sincerely believe that it should be. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, you mentioned skin cells and regenerating brain cells. Yes, Could you speak a little bit more about that, please? It's been shown that CBD, cannabis, um, the compounds help. Uh, it's neuroprotective. It helps regenerate brain cells. And it's been shown to be promising in patients with Alzheimer's. Okay. Um, so that's that's still, we're do, still doing research on that, but it's showing that it's it's great it's great potential for that. Um, we have so we have receptors in our skin, and these receptors are called endocannabinoid receptors. So these receptors respond directly to the compounds in cannabis, CBD, THC. So when I rub my products on my skin, the the receptors in my skin help. Um, help um, me feel better, um, helps with my psoriasis. The, our, the receptors in our body, we have receptors in our body that respond directly to cannabis. So every layer of the skin in our immune cells, in our um, fat cells are receptors that correspond to cannabis. So it has the potential to do so much great things in our body. And like I said, for me, it's if it just feels great. It helps with any pain I may have, especially joint pain. It helps with my psoriasis. I get allergic dermatitis on my face sometimes, and it helps with that. So um, every layer of the skin, we have receptors that respond directly to the compounds, the chemical compounds in cannabis. <music> So what are at least three things that has been fundamental changes um, in your niche from when you started that you can help um, someone get into the field of CBD? Um, I'm sorry. Repeat that question one more time. What are at least three things mm -hmm. that has changed um, in, in your business since when you first started until mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. um, that has been fundamentally different? That you can speak about? Okay, three things that have changed um, since I started and since um, I'm sensible now. Okay, I definitely have more um, of an understanding on how it works in the body, right? That's more knowledge is one. Um, I, what has changed, what else has changed? I have more knowledge. I feel more comfortable talking about it. I, there's, there's, there's still a stigma that, you know, I feel with certain family members, I can't talk about it, but that stigma I felt towards it um, is lessening. So I have more knowledge, less of a stigma, uh, negative, um, um, you know, negative um, emotions and stuff about cannabis. And um I, what's the, I would say, I, I, what I, what I'm happy about is another thing is that more people are open to it. I, since mm. we started, um, you know, I would get, you know, mm, I don't want to, but more people are, I see that more people are open, are open to it now. And it has to do with, I know it has something to do with the legalization here in New York city where I'm at that has a lot to do with it. And I'd like to think that I had something to do with it amongst my family and friends on educating them and um, 
through my products. I'd like to think I had something to do with that as well. So um, there's less of a stigma that I'm feeling towards the plant. Um, I have more knowledge and I've um, provided more knowledge to my family and friends and the people that buy my products. So I would say those are the three changes I've seen. Well, that's nice. And it's good that you're able to talk about it and have them have that open mind to have mm -hmm. those discussions because that must mm -hmm. be kind of hard. Yeah, it's, it, you know, there's still some people I'm trying to, you know, but I don't force anyone. I just provide information and I provide, um, you know, a teaching. And I, I feel that helps. That helps a lot. You know, when you you're knowledgeable and then you pass on knowledge, it does help people with. um. OK, you know, they may they, they, um, helps people be a little more open minded. So you have a, the name um, Shalana, Shalana Essentials is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Could you tell us a little bit more about that? How you created it? Okay, um, I wanted to make this, you know, a little personal for me. So what I did was I, um, I'm Shanika. My daughter is Alana, and I joined our two names, so I made it Shalana Essentials. So Shalana comes from. Um, the joining of our two names and you know a lot of people call me Shalana they, they you know because they know me through my my business and they say oh hi Shalana <laughs> and I love it you know I, I I love it but um I it's the joining of my daughter myself and my daughter's name mm, that is a beautiful name in it in it of itself and Shanika is beautiful as well thank um, you so much there is some history behind why you started um, could you tell us a little bit about your daughter Yeah, and the journey that um, brought you? Thank you. Okay, definitely. So my daughter, she's 27 years old. And when I say it, I just, I just feel so old, but yeah, she's 27 years old and um, she is on the autism spectrum. She is um, moderately to high function, high functioning autism. So um, she is, she has been, since she was about 11, she's been taking, when she started puberty, started getting some kind of aggressive behaviors and um, and um, we had to put on medication. And you know what, For, for I, I definitely like more of a holistic approach to, to things, but when I started her on, Risperidone was a medication we started her on, um, it did help with her, those behaviors. So I was grateful for, having that when I needed it, you know, because um, it did help. Um, the side effects is, is what I was really concerned about. Um, she'd been taking it for seven years when um, she became pre-diabetic, you know, she gained a lot of weight. Um, and I was just, diabetes is a big, um, a big thing in my family. My mom had it, my grandfather had it. And um, I was really concerned. She was only when they said she was only like 21 when they, they diagnosed her with prediabetes. And um, I was able to wean her off that medication. And then after a, a year or two, I had to put her back on it. But when I started um, with CBD, I was wondering, I said, well, I wonder if I could, you know, add, um, would, would cannabis help her? Would CBD help her? And um, I was able to start her off with when I asked her that her psychiatrist he he was against it he said no don't do it you know leave her on the medications and I did I did take into consideration what he said but again I was concerned about the side effects and being a psychiatric nurse I've seen the side of the effects of the side effects you know, with my own patients you know so I was concerned and I said you know I'm just going to give it a try I'm going to try it and if it doesn't work I can say I tried it so I I she doesn't she didn't respond well like I, I take the oil she didn't respond well to taking the oil I didn't see much of a change when, when I was giving her the oil so I started her on gel caps and um the gel caps I saw a difference in her behavior and her anxiety levels, um, in her agitation. And I gave her two capsules a day. I started her on two capsules a day and I saw a change in her behavior. So I was able to successfully wean her off of the pharmaceutical medication she was taking. And now she's only taking a multivitamin and 
the CBD gel capsules. So I'm so happy about that. Yeah. I'm so happy about that. And you know, she still has her moments and her days, and that's gonna happen. Yeah, but it's 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 a blessing. It's a blessing. And she um, so she's able to take that, and it's helped her. You know, more yeah. blessed days than not. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, a whole lot. <laughs> yeah, she was able to believe in yourself and your history and what you was doing and um, to provide that for her. And yeah. at least you stood up for your rights and her rights because mm -hmm. you could have listened to what he had to say. And, you know, you mm -hmm. don't, nobody wants diabetes. I don't understand, you know, if there's a better mm -hmm. alternative and a right. route to go. Right, right. Yeah, it's I'm still, a lot of medical professionals are still not on board, um, but that's changing slowly as well too. Um, what do you yourself do to get yourself out of those work slumps or those ruts, um, that you might have during out the week? And what do you do to relax or unwind? Oh boy. That is a great question. Um, Denise, I, um, working as a nurse is, it's a, it's a blessing. I'm so grateful, but it is hard work. It is mm -hmm. hard work, and um, post COVID, it's uh, it's even more hard. It really is. So um, I to I meditate, I exercise, um, I gratitude. I practice gratitude daily. I take mm -hmm. CBD. I, let me tell you, I take the CBD oil. I drink CBD drinks. <laughs> I use my CBD wellness book. I use my CBD body but I use my CBD face cream. I mean, it's it's just in it's just in part. It, I just integrate it in every part of my life, but it's a big part of how I um how I I I I, I do self care. It definitely, mm. yeah. Okay, okay, that sounds nice. Um, I love your website. So you have seven to nine products. Which one is your favorite and why? Ooh, do I have a favorite? Oh my goodness. Uh, I I have favorites at different times. Like um this week, I'm really into my my wellness butter called Orange You Sweet. It mm -hmm. is sweet orange. It's uh, has eucalyptus in it, it has course cbd mango butter and this week yeah and this week mm -hmm. i'm really into this particular wellness butter and i call them wellness butters denise because they're not just body butters they can help with they help um you feel better they can help with pain they can help with um certain you know if you have a uh a little itch or like a little dermatitis sometimes that I have, it can help with that. I mean, it just, it can help with, someone tells me before they go to sleep, they put it on, take a shower, put it on and it helps her sleep. And that's another benefit of cannabis and CBD. It, it can help with sleep. So um, this week it's, it's this orange juice sweet butter that I have. That's my favorite this week. <laughs> Next week, it's going to be something else. I just moments that I have um, favorites. But this week, Orange You Sweet is my favorite wellness, my favorite product for the week. I'm got to show that up again one more time. One more time mm -hmm. for me. Show, show it up again. I wanted everybody to see this because you are going to believe the price, guys. And Valentine's Day is coming up. So please, we're going to have the website going across in the description as well. You guys make sure to check out Ship Lana's Essentials. Yes, thank and can you. you please tell them how they can um, connect with you? Yeah. Okay. Um, you can go to the website and it's um, thank you for um, putting it on. It's um, yourshalanaessentials.com and they can connect with me through the website. They can um, go to um, Instagram. I'm at Shalana. So that's S is the Sam, H-A-L-A-N-A -A -A underscore essentials on Instagram. So you can go to the website. You can go to, you can um, follow me on Instagram. I would love that. Um, if any questions you may have, I'd be more than happy to answer. 
thank you thank you yes yes you guys can see they're all handcrafted and made with love and care and thought yeah. about for you and your skin so yeah. please think of her <clears throat> Some of your business and referrals. Thank you so much. Yes. You're very welcome. Yes, yes. I am going. I cannot wait. I get paid this Thursday. I'm gonna dive into <laughs> me. I you 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 got me on the orange. <laughs> so you know. Oh, it's yes, so, it's yes. so nice, There's orange. I have rosemary lavender, um, chocolate peppermint, which is really popular oh, now. Yeah, which is really popular now with um, Valentine's Day. I have lemongrass eucalyptus. Lemon, it's really nice. And I also have one um, that's called soursop and jasmine. And soursop is a it's a fruit. It's a fruit found in the tropics that has really great anti-cancer, anti-inflammatory properties. So those are my five wellness butters. I also have a um, a skin cream, a face cream. Um, it's called um, sh it's called um, Shampalm. So Shampalm is short for chamomile. No, Campalm, sorry. It's short for chamomile pomegranate. So it's called Campalm um, Moisturizer Facial Cream. And you can get the C CBD option or non-CBD option. I make some with CBD and I make, you can have it with non-CBD as well. Okay. Um, yeah, and I also have a face and body mist. I'm trying to see. Yeah. Face and body mist that you can spray on. I spray, I wash my face and I spray the face and body mist on. And then I put on the face, the moisturizing facial cream. So I have the five wellness butters, the face cream, the face and body mist. And I also have some merch up there, some um, t-shirts and, you know, um, they, they, okay. they, yeah, it says, um, get soft. You know, we always talk about the soft life now. So I got some t-shirts up there that say, get soft locked up by Shalana Essentials. <laughs> That's cute. That's cute. I think I'm gonna get some for my whole family though, because they're not gonna get my burner. Um, because I did hear you say you mentioned some um like the eczema and things of that nature for your skin. And yeah, so, yeah I, I heard the benefits of that. Yeah, yeah, I have psoriasis and it does help with um my my psoriasis, definitely. Like it doesn't take it away completely, but the my outbreaks and the, the the flaking that I usually get it has reduced dramatically right? since I've been doing my my butters and my and taking CBD oil. Yes, yes. Thank you so much for coming on and sharing your expertise and your experience. God bless you and your journey. Um, Thank you. I so see you. Much. I enjoyed. I had such a great time. Thank you. You're very very welcome. This has been another wonderful episode of Entrepreneurial Empire. Until the next episode, as always, be bold, be beautiful, be blessed. Until next time. Thank you so much, Shanika. Thank you, Denise. All right. It was a pleasure.